I just have to say this, Michelle, which is so many women who are confident and capable. And, and as a woman ages, she becomes more confident and capable and self-assured and I can handle everything. She's more on her male side. And how does the male side process stress? It processes the challenges of life. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, that's the life. There's no problem. Well, I can't do anything about that. Well, I'll solve that problem. Well, I can do this and I can do that. That's how you solve problems or feel good on your male side. So what you find is women <clears throat> will tend to have this experience of life of being overwhelmed. I have so many things I have to do. I have to do. I have to do. Men have much less of that. 30 years ago, they had none of that. Uh, when men were men, they work hard and then they forget the day. They go home, forgotten, done. I can, we have breaks. You see, our male side says, okay, I've run, out, I've run out of fuel. I need to rebuild my fuel, my hobby, my relaxation. I've got my me time. I'm going to do it. Then I've got my wife and my children. It was so mapped out easily for them. And But when women are on their male side and not on their female side, meaning your work is not nurturing, you're working for money, you're setting goals, you're achieving goals that you, you basically feel I have to sacrifice to do that. I'm doing what I don't like to do. I don't like what I don't want to do. Whenever you're on that side of you and you feel like I have to solve this and do this and it's too much, that's your male side. Your mm -hmm. female side comes back. How to come back to your female side. There is a, a there's a concept in the ancient days of called rhythm, which is everything that goes left will go right. It's to go this way, it will come back. And this is a natural coming back. So if you go way over to your male side, way over to your male side, then to find balance, you just can't come back to here, center. You, you can't go from way over here out of balance to centered. If you're way out of balance this way, you're gonna to tend to go way out of balance that way, <clears throat> over to your female side. And when you go way over to your female side, it's embarrassing. Female, way on your male side, female side has very little logic to it. <clears throat> That's where you feel, I, don't, I need you to reassure me, do you love me? Do you care about me? Am I important to you? And a guy, well, of course I am. <clears throat> Why would I marry you? He doesn't really understand the need that women have for reassurance that they're loved, that they're special, that they're significant, that they're important. Even though, you know, over here on their male side, oh, I make money, I achieve goals and whatever, that makes me feel special. But what if I just, who I am? This is very important. The female side is, do you see me? Do you hear me? But she doesn't even see herself. That's why therapy has become such a big thing for women is we therapists will help women to understand, well, what's frustrating you? What are you afraid of? Why are you feeling anxiety? Why is it you're not sleeping? What's going on inside of you? What's going on inside of you is a host of emotions, emotions like anger and sadness and disappointment and frustration and, and, and guilt and shame and insecurity. And I'm getting older, I'm not as pretty and nobody wants me and will I ever find love? So all these insecurities are inside of there. That's estrogen. All that is a estrogen, her female energy, which is being repressed, suppressed during the day. It's pushing down, pushing down. But when that pendulum swings back, then suddenly it starts to come up and then she pushes it down or she rationalizes that as judging her partner. Well, you're not doing this for me. You're not doing this for me. All of my negative emotions is about my partner. This is all basically Freudian ideas. It's very important to understand is that if you, if you have stress building up during the day, when you come home, it gets unloaded on the person you feel safest with. And that's mm -hmm. your partner. Just, it, it doesn't say, hey, these are my feelings about work today. No, it's like you didn't pick up after yourself or you forgot to call me or you didn't do this. Couples get upset about the littlest things because they're not dealing with the stresses of their day or the stresses of their past, which are creeping up on them or your partner does something like an ex the slightest little thing and you kind of have the reaction that you didn't fully heal from the past. So relationships are challenging. The more older we get, the wiser we get. We just have to use these skills and the way it then looks is <clears throat> everything I say has to have a practical aspect of it. It's Venus talk. You know, it's, I'm, I just, I want women to know that just having the romantic side of it is not going to get him to marry you. It's when he can feel that he really helps you. He really helps you. And if you open your heart to him and say, it's just so good to be able to talk to somebody at the end of the day where I can just say, you know, my, I was giving this whole presentation afterwards. I just felt terrible. I'm afraid I didn't do the right thing. I could have done it better. And then he'll say, oh, no, you do a good job. He said, no, no, 
you don't have to fix anything. Just hear me. Just hear me. It feels so good to just be able to unload and come back to my my, my feelings of insecurity. And see, as a post I'm so confident, you know, and I'm so secure. The female side of us has so much more fear than the male side of us. Uh, the male side of us is so much lazier. <laughs> I remember I talking about that. The female side is insecurity. And, and to reveal that, and it's kind of like, I just need you to hold me and hug me and tell me that you love me and, and say those things. And another thing that I'm, you know, when couples have better communication, they can do this, what I'm about to recommend is here you are, you're in a romantic relationship, you're most of you are having sex at that point. Then when you're having sex, to be able to talk during sex and to say at another time, and sometimes you have to do it another time, you can do it right then, but it's good because people aren't prepared for this. Men aren't prepared for this. To be able to say things like, do you love me? Will you tell me you love me? Am I important to you? Why do I, why do you love me? Every love story is like, do you love me? <laughs> it's like, oh, let me count the ways I love you. You know, this, this is pretty much what men can learn to do. And you can just say, just tell me, then you love working hard and supporting me. Tell me you love me always, even though it seems corny. For some people that would be corny and, and making love. I'm going to just say, do you love me? And just say, yes, I love you. And I always love you. And if we just get logical, I can't say I'll always love you. I, I don't know what the future is going to be. Nobody can really say that logically. But emotionally, it stimulates my estrogen hormones. It feels really good. And, and so, will you always love me? Do you love me? Are you sure you love me? This is very sweet uh, asking for reassurance. And that was something I didn't get in the first 10 years of my marriage to Bonnie. I finally got it, uh, that women need, re as much as I wanna, if I've got some stocks on the stock market, I look every day, how's it doing? I'm looking for reassurance that my money's okay, right? Right. You know, if I, every author is looking on Amazon to see what number you are, you know, how, how my book's doing, you wanna see, What's my success? This is male logic. If you're, you know, your business, I've got to look at my bank accounts. I got to know it. And I, I look every day. I say, oh, I'm doing good. You know, that's all. That's to the male getting the, that reassurance. Women need a personal reassurance. And that's what the roses are about. That's what the stroking the hair is about. That's what the compliments are about. That's what noticing is about. That's having difficult conversations. And this is an important thing that breaks couples up is that women will bring up the issues where they want something he doesn't understand why or it's not going to work for him and she's trying to get more or something like that and you have a, a difficult conversation they come up and if you can say this magic word women this is another thing that helps men make a commitment to marry you is he's getting the reassurance that he can provide what you need to be happy so here you're having this difficult conversation and if you can remember these words i'm about to say just say to him, I know this is really difficult for you, but this really is helping me. I know it's difficult, but I will get to the other side and it helps me so much. See, then suddenly he goes, oh, this isn't just a nuisance. This is just, you know, I'm going to lift a heavy log to carry it over there to do something with it. See, it's like men need to feel that the effort, energy they put in has some purpose, has a meaning. And so I just cherish the moments one time <clears throat> It just changed our whole marriage when, you know, we were a bit of an argument, whatever. And I, I just said, look, I'll think about it. Let's not talk. That was what we set up because we don't escalate. Couples escalate in arguments. Mm -hmm. and all you know. So you have to have your exit phrases, safe, safe phrases. And mine is, all right, I'm going to think about this. <clears throat> but I didn't do it so well that time. Okay. It was like, all right, I'll, I'll think about this and walked out of the room. Kind of like I'm done with this and rough and walked away. And when I softened and came back, which men will do, that's why this class, the, the, <laughs> the understanding man, the problem that solves all problems is men going to their cave, making sure men go to their cave. And the many reasons it works, it doesn't work, how women sabotage it, all those things. <laughs> it's, I learned things even as we were writing the course together. But when I came back from being in the cave, I just came in the kitchen and our, our safe thing then is when I'm out of the cave, I just come around, offer to help or put, stroke her hair a little bit and maybe she's warming up or she's not. You know, you, can, you have to gently come back after somewhat of an uh, argument. And I, uh, and she said to me this thing, she said, John, thank you so much for protecting me from your dragon. 
Mm, well, it was so powerful because suddenly the thing that most men feel guilty about is walking away. Uh, and women then cry and feel hurt. You know, so we clearly have a lot of shame around walking away, but we do it to protect you. It's called fight or flight. You want to fight. It's not a good idea. So flight is a better option. So he's in fight or flight. He flights. He calms down, cools off, does what he needs to do to feel better. He opens his heart again, comes back. And so I come back and, and make my little connection to say, okay, I'm safe. John is here. The, the angry guy is not there. And she says, thank you so much for taking your time and protecting me from your dragon. Oh, I love that. That's so beautiful. It's just a beautiful thing.